Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make a really fast um, ravioli bake for my family of now seven. So I'm going to start by spraying my 9 by 13 pan with some nonstick spray. And then I'm going to layer in my spinach and cheese ravioli. You can use whatever kind of ravioli you want. If you have ravioli that you've made and in your freezer, you can definitely use that. So as you can see, I'm just going to get this as... Um, layered or leveled as I can in the screech pan and then I'm going to sprinkle around my frozen meatballs like I said before if you have homemade meatballs that you want to use that's good that's that could be used as well um, but I'm just going to use these frozen ones and then after getting my meatballs in I'm going to drizzle in a little of my sauce yes it is you guessed it canned sauce so I'm going to get this as covered as I possibly can um, with probably about half of the jar and then I'm going to go back in and layer in the remaining ravioli and sprinkle in the remaining um, meatballs and then just get the rest of that sauce over the top all over again um, and just throw that in the oven after I get cheese on top of course um, but you don't have to stir it or mix it around or anything like that the sauce covering all of it um, kind of, you know, creates that, that heat to cook the noodles and, um, thaw and cook the meatballs and you don't have to add any extra seasonings or anything like that because, like, granted, this, it, 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 it was perfectly fine the way it was. So, um, that's my second layer of sauce and now I'm going to sprinkle over, um, the cheese. So, I decided to use a pizza blend cheese that um it's just like those white cheeses provolone romano asiago mozzarella um but i'm just going to sprinkle over those um those cheeses and not the italian blend just because i like the way this cheese stretches um but i'm making two pans of this this comes together really really fast um and I'm going to put this in the oven, set the oven at 375 um, before you do all of this, of course, so that the oven is nice and preheated so you can throw everything in. Um, but this is just a really quick dinner that comes together really fast. You know, you can um, fix some garlic bread with it, a little broccoli or green beans or applesauce. And you have a really fast dinner. So I'm just going to zip together my second pan really fast. And this is the result. Okay, so these are my pans ready to go in the oven. I'm going to get them covered with foil. I'm going to bake them in the oven for about an hour. And after they're done, this is what you'll have. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Bye.